Hey guys, what's happening? So, I finally had to get a new torch. I mean, this thing lasted for about 20 years. And uh, it actually started leaking gas out of this top here. So a couple times I had flames coming to my face, like right here. So, got a little sketchy, so I bought one of these over Home Depot. Sorry for all the noise. and Printing, as usual. Um, what's interesting, though, is I actually have just the tip for the same price as the tip and the tank. So keep an eye on that. This, this is actually on the top shelf. And this is on the bottom shelf, so for the same price, you get the free tank. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, all right, so yeah, let's take a look at this thing. I wanted something kind of with a smaller tip because I don't really, I don't do plumbing. Obviously, I'm not sweating pipes, but I need to um, key these up. These things are actually uh, there's some uh, thread locker in there. I got to break up, but I got to be careful not to you know hit some of the plastic around here. At least try to be careful. So that's one of the reasons why I got this one with the finer tip. Yeah, I did actually like how this one was angled this way, but um, I, I, I only, I, Home Depot didn't have one. This company, burns o -Matic, doesn't actually make one, as far as I could tell. Um, the only, only other one I saw was a Harbor Freight, but the one at Harbor Freight had this long igniter come out the front, which I thought was weird, so um, so I guess I'm going to have to suffer through that, with the hole at an angle like that. But the tip does seem finer, which is cool. That's actually what I'm looking for. And my other burns matic my little hand torch. I normally just want to use this thing, but this thing started leaking right here, too. So, um, alright, so I'm glad it's not so complicated where I can't figure it out. Here's the igniter. Alright, let's turn this on. Right there, I gotta be careful not to hit the plastic around it. A cool little torch. Like I said, it's not very powerful, but yeah, I still couldn't even get those threads off. Um, they were already stripped before I even got this car, so um, I might just have the Dremel little turn it into a flathead, see if I can get some more torque on it. But yeah, total headache. Yeah, I, I don't know what kind of thread locker I can put on there. So, all right.